Welcome to this series of modules on the four foundational documents that will be useful when writing a proposal. Writers will want to be familiar with the StarTalk endorsed principles, the World Readiness Standards, the Necessful Actful Can-Do Statements, and the TELL Framework. This module will address the Can-Do Statements. The Can-Do Statements are a key document in the development of both the proposal and the subsequent curriculum and learning plans for student programs. Participants in teacher programs are also likely to reference this document depending on the goals selected for the teacher program. More information on the document can be found at actful.org as well as on the StarTalk resources site shown here. Let's look at the format of the 2017 revised can-do statements. The revised statements identify proficiency benchmarks and performance indicators from novice to distinguished for each mode of communication. Here you see the proficiency benchmarks for novice for the interpretive, interpersonal, and presentational modes of communication. Then, each mode of communication is further explained, first with questions that provide a language function, and then with performance indicators showing how well that function is addressed. You can see from what is shown here that the can-do statements address both proficiency and performance. The proficiency benchmark describes what language speakers can do in real-world situations independent of classroom instruction. Here, I can communicate in spontaneous spoken, written, or signed conversations on both very familiar and everyday topics using a variety of practiced or memorized words, phrases, simple sentences, and questions. This, benchmarks, this benchmark covers the entire novice range. Proficiency in this document is not broken into sub-levels. New to the revised can-do statements are the questions which incorporate the language function, which shows how the language will be used in real world context. There are three functions, each of which covers an aspect of the interpersonal mode. Then the performance indicators describe how well a learner should complete a task to achieve each sublevel, low, mid, or high. The performance indicators describe what a learner can do based on instruction and practice. Let's look more closely at how this document is used when writing the proposal. The proposal must describe who the student program participants will be. Look closely at the benchmarks and performance indicators for the interpersonal and presentational modes to determine the correct proficiency benchmark, novice, intermediate, or advanced, and then the correct performance indicator, low, mid, or high, for each group of students your program will enroll. Programs will use this information to create program goals and performance tasks that are appropriate for the language skills of the learners. Let's look more closely at the process of creating the program goals. As shown previously, each mode of communication identifies specific language functions showing how language will be used in real-world contexts. For the interpersonal mode, learners exchange information and ideas, they meet their needs or address situations, and they express, react to, and support preferences and opinions. The performance indicator, low, mid, or high, indicates how well the learner accomplishes the performance task. This information is used to create a program can-do statement. The sample shown here from the model curriculum, Let's Go Somewhere, is for grades 6 through 12. The mode of communication is interpersonal, as evidenced by the language function, requiring that learners exchange information and ideas in conversation. The performance indicator is intermediate mid, and the text that appears here comes directly from the can-do statement document. The indicator gives the anticipated level of performance by explaining how well learners will accomplish the task. 
keeping the language function of exchanging information and ideas in mind, along with the performance indicator of intermediate mid, the program can do statement and the corresponding assessment task can be developed. The program goals indicate what students will know and be able to do upon completion of the program. Then, the proposal must describe at least one sample performance assessment for interpersonal speaking, presentational speaking, or presentational writing for one group of learners who will be participants in the program. Careful alignment between the performance indicator and the performance task ensures that the task is appropriate for the language proficiency of the learner. The sample here also comes from the model student curriculum, Let's Go Somewhere for grades 6 through 12. The program Can Do involves asking and answering questions about what to see and do in a certain region. The program Can Do establishes the purpose for the assessment task. The performance assessment task then creates a real-world context, describes the expectations, and stipulates the type of product or performance. Here, groups of learners create a product in the presentational mode. Students then regroup to ask and answer questions to obtain information on different regions, completing a new graphic organizer on another region. The same process would then be used to create a program can-do statement and corresponding performance assessment task in the presentational mode, where students must narrate about their life, experiences, and events, present information to give preferences, opinions, or persuasive arguments, and present information to inform, describe, or explain. For additional resources, you may wish to visit the applicant resource page shown here. StarTalk and the National Security Agency thank you for your interest in submitting a proposal to promote the advancement of critical need languages for both teachers and students of those languages. Thank you.